Hi, dear friends. It's Chris here. How are you all? I hope you're doing fine. Well, better than fine. I hope you're doing fantastic. Um, so I come to you today um, because we have an unboxing to do, an unbagging, diamond paintings to see. And today it's presented by FGNormal.com. They were kind enough to send me three diamond paintings um, that I chose to review for them. So, first let me explain. I have a few things to explain to you. First off, this is take number two. Unfortunately, I had shot my video at the end of last week. Um, and I had meant to put this out. However... You know, me with my chubby little fingers. Um, I had actually, while I was in the photo area of the iPad, I actually accidentally deleted my video. Well, big surprise, right? <laughs> Only me. So I had to wait and now I had to reshoot the whole thing. But that's okay, I don't mind. So that's why this is really take two and it's not the actual initial unbagging of the items. Um, so I just want to let you all know that, that that's why this is done the way it's done. Um, and so I also wanted to briefly explain kind of the items I bought. So one item that you'll see at the end is a purely new, to me, new s scene uh, FG Normal is the only place I actually have seen this item, and I haven't seen anybody unbox it or show any progress on it. I've never seen it before. However, the other, the first two are the larger ones, um, and I have actually seen them shown uh, before. I have, and I, uh, by the way, I will link down FG Normal's all three diamond paintings and I will also link down below the two creators I've seen well actually three of that I've mentioned here uh, that I will be mentioning I have s in the video I mentioned my wonderful friend Grace but I also mentioned Whitney Diamond Paints and Lovecraft or ever Natalia um, because I seen Natalia and Whitney each unbox one of the or the two larger ones one did one, the other did the other. Uh, so, usually um, when I'm choosing items for review for companies for the channel, I have to, I usually set, stick to two criteria, or excuse me, three criteria. The first one is that I have to like it personally. I'm not going to um, have an item sent to me just because. I actually have to like it. I want to want to do it. Um, I don't want to waste, I'm not going to waste their time sh giving me an item and all that. And I'm not going to waste my time, you know, r reviewing an item that I don't want or that I'm not going to like and that I'm not going to do. So I always make sure that it's something that I definitely want. The second criteria is I want it to try to be as unique as possible for my channel. So I usually don't like to choose items that I've seen before or again like I've said before that is kind of the same old same old. I try to do that um, and I think for the most part I've been successful at it. Um, this, These two diamond paintings are kind of the only ones I can think of that I've actually seen unboxed before by somebody else and I have then actively went and got them myself to show. So and I kind of thought, well, you know, that's also kind of okay, at least certainly once, because not everybody has the same viewers, you know. So you might watch me, but not watch the other ones. You might watch the other ones. They might not watch me. So why not? And the third criteria is, of course, is I like to think of you all. I don't want to kind of completely go way off the ball or anything with getting something so out there that I don't think anybody else would like. Again, possibly with one of these that might be the case. I don't know. Um, you know, that's kind of, and no offense to my lovely viewers or anything, but that's kind of hard to decipher is what other people are going to like. You know, 
I just try my best to get things that appeal to me and that I think appeal to other, the people that watch my videos kind of more consistently and that I become friendly with. Um, you know, I obviously, we all don't know each other's style. Some of us like something, some of us like other things. And there's always differences. I just don't want to go completely off the wall with something that I know you will probably all won't like. And I'm guessing that if I really don't like it, you probably won't like it either. I'm just saying that, you know, maybe it's, again, me and my ego thinking I have really good taste. So I just want to let you all know that I try really hard to uh, choose things that I like and that is unique. Um, and this kind of was an exception to that as far as the uniqueness of it. So I hope you all don't mind. I hope, you know... If you've seen it, you still <laughs> watch and, you know, will appreciate at least my perspective of the dime painting. Um, and so, finally, I just wanted to say again, thank you to my viewers. I always thank you so much and so profusely, but it really means a lot, you know. A lot of us there out here, certainly with me, is, you know, second family, my YouTube. I've spent so much time on YouTube nowadays that, um, you know, it's important to me. And... I, you know, I really appreciate you all. And I also appreciate the companies that have sent items to me um, to review. And so I really appreciate FG Normal reaching out and letting me choose some products for them. Um, and I hope they enjoy my review. All right. So thanks again so much. And now on to the actual dime paintings. The, one, the part you all actually want to see. All right. Bye, guys. Take care. Till next time. Hi, dear friends. Chris here. How are you? I hope you're all doing lovely. So as you heard in my intro, all the happenings with this. So this is take two. Um, it is from, again, fgnormal.com. Um, they were nice enough to send out these dime paintings for me to review for you all. Um, now, uh, let me tell you first off that since it is take two I don't have the the toolkit with me but just in case you're for what you just happen to come stumble upon this and it, you're new you don't know what dime painting is you get the picture you get the diamonds or drills and you get a toolkit and so it's everything you need to dime paint and they send you a pen <coughs> excuse me they send you a pen a dime painting pen a wax for the pen and a tray. Now the two larger ones come with two kits, tool kits, and the smaller one that I have here will come with one. All right, um, so I think that's all I wanted to say before going into this. So uh, also the great thing about this, uh, I guess you could say, is you don't have to see me unbag and struggle with the wrappings and all that. And also because I had also flattened out the picture, so also the plastic straightening is now not a worry here. So this probably should go faster than normal. All right, so that is if I can not talk as, and ramble on as much. All right, so let's get into it. Here we go. This is dime painting number one. So this is called Dragon Ball. It is 45 by 85. It's a round and it's listed as 1784 on the website so this is one of the two the two larger ones are the two dime paintings i've seen unboxed and that i have really liked and decided to try um so let me first explain to you why i like this and why i wanted to try it and this i liked for a few different reasons first off I love the color in this. I mean, the, the charting and everything, it's amazing. The definition of his body and his hair is great. I mean, it looks fantastic. Um, I love, I love, love the blues up here and the reds in his body. They pop out so much. I think this is wonderful. So the drill field is perfectly clear. The stickiness is okay. It's not the best sticky, but it's not the worst. It's okay. Uh, it could be better. Um, 
And I also wanted to point out two more things before we go ahead. Uh, forward, I should say. First off, all of these dime paintings today are in the newer style of, from what I understand, the newer style of printing. And that is they are printed instead of in a box form, like pixel form for rounds, they're printed in a square form. And that supposedly really helps the definition and details of the diamond painting. And from what I've heard from other people, you can tell. Even in smaller diamond paintings, that which is especially probably more important, the detail comes out a whole lot better with the round um, printing of it. So I'll show you what I mean by that. Um, and I'm going to show you up in his ear because that's probably the easiest place you can see. So I hope I'm going to be able to show you. But if you look at some of these colors here, oops, you could see how the colors are printed and the color behind it is round. And you could see it over here. Again, I hope you're able to see that. So that helps out with the, um, you know, again, the details of it. Well, I might as well show you while I'm here. Let's look at the drill field. I know sometimes I go a little fast with this. The drill field, I mean, part. So... Okay, so I mean, I'm not gonna. So that's the one thing is the that I what attracted me to this was the colors, the real pop of it. You know, um, I know nothing about the subject matter itself. That doesn't really matter to me. It's just the look of it is great. Um, the other reason why I liked it. <laughs> so I've seen this unboxed or on shown, I should say by Whitney Diamond Paints and she got it for her husband because she said if I don't, if I'm remembering correctly this is how I've you know I've seen this done and um and she's talked about it saying how that's how I learned about this apparently is anything from a game like a video game from her that um she got it for her husband I guess for his game room or something and so, you know, when I was listening to her uh, talk about that, I thought, oh, that's funny because we both like this for two way different reasons. He might like it for his game, but I like this because of the hunky man, okay? Now, yes, this is a cartoon character, but that's okay. I still think he's sexy. You know, that's, it is the way it is. Um, I think that I'm not going to go into my whole thing about it. I've said it before. I'm just going to say, for some of us, we would like some more hunky male characters and not only have little tiny girl characters who are appropriately sexy. Okay, that's all I'm going to say about that. So, that's kind of the two reasons why I got this, is because I like the subject matter and I love the pop of colors. And it's really defined. You know, I, I would... I'm really interested to see how it comes out, too, because it looks fa fabulous just like this. You know, I'm really going to be interested in seeing what the diamonds look on it, um, how bright they are. And since we're talking about diamonds, let's just go through them real quickly. <coughs> Excuse me. So, first up, we have a lot of the flesh tones and some browns. And we have, here's a beautiful blue. Again, more fleshy tones, bright blue, orange. So this is the interesting part is that I'm actually going to, while I'm here, I'm going to look at it because it seems like there'd be a whole lot more blues here, but there really isn't. I mean, there's one, two, three, four, five... Well, six kind of bright blues and some more muted color blues. Yeah, that is the right one. So, well, you know, maybe it's because I'm. It's a. It's a eye trick because a lot of his hair is actually the black. 
And so the blues actually aren't as many as you'd think. But again, see, that's the mind trick. It plays on you. The, the, the black is so prominent that the bright blue shocks you. And that's why I thought there'd be tons more blues. But no, there's not. So you have like C's and V's and K's. So 16. And the C's, that's not really the bright blue. That's the light blue. But the more... Right ones are H's and K's. So 20 and 21. Hmm. See that? See these are two aren't that shocking to me. So I'm gonna be interested to see what it looks like. You know, I was thinking of whether I would change anything on it or not, and I really don't plan to. Um. Let me see, the T is number four. That's here. So, I don't plan to change anything as of right now. It could change, but I really want to see what it looks like just normally through the drills they have. Okay, now I thought this was going to go quicker. I'm at nine and a half minutes already. Okay, Chris, come on. Speed up a little. Okay, so the second one here, let's do it. Ready? This one doesn't matter which way it goes. So this is gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. This uh, is called Abstract Geometry. It is a 50 by 88 round. And it's also listed as 1784. Again, from FG Normal. Um, let's check the stickiness. Now this one I remember... if. You, when I pull this back, it's a little bit better. The stickiness is better on this one than the Dragon Ball. But when I pulled this up, it was so hard to pull this plastic up. I don't know what was going on with this glue and this plastic, but it was a struggle. Believe me, to straighten it out. It's still even a little hard to pull up, but nowhere near as bad as it was. It was almost as if it was on the wrong side, but I don't. But it wasn't on the wrong side, you know. Um, Okay, so this one I saw Natalia from Lovecraft Forever unbox. And, you know, I don't know if she got... Again, I don't know where Whitney or Natalia got these from. Uh, most of these stores have same... These budget store... Budget-friendly stores have the same inventory. Um, probably all from same manufacturer, but same inventory. So I don't know where they got it from. Um... But I've seen her unbox it or show it on her channel. And this is normally something I wouldn't get in a diamond painting, in a regular diamond painting. Like I would get this in a crystal, a full rhinestone crystal diamond painting. But this looked so good that I was like, oh, I have to get this. This is gorgeous. And it is. It, it really is gorgeous. I, I mean, and again, it's probably because or helps because it's in the newer printing style. So let's take a quick look at up close for you. And you could see definitely in here better. Now, because the one, if you want to say drawback might be for somebody, is that it can be a little bit more difficult maybe for some people, dime painting, because printed wise, when you're up close and actually diamond painting, it might seem too busy. Like when you see in these color, color bursts, um, where the confetti is, it, it seems probably maybe a little bit too busy when you're diamond painting and it could throw your eye off maybe, but the end result really, if you care about detail is worth it because it'll look so much better than the other pixelated box form all right so um i haven't i don't uh, oh see i you know what i actually forgot this in the previous video and i forgot it now but i look i remembered so the dragon ball one has 21 colors he, he had 21 this one has 23 and again it's just simply gorgeous i i absolutely love this one the minute i seen it i was like oh i have to get that Again, quick little look at the diamonds. 
Again, we have greens and beautiful yellow. Darker colors. This is a... Is that... See... You know, it's funny that this is... These... No, no, that is different. These are blacks, but they actually don't look as black as normal. But they are. Like they don't, meaning they don't look deep black, but there's tons of them, of course, because, you know, the stained glass effect. Um, oh, what was it I was going to say? I forgot. Hmm. Well, hopefully I'll remember. Oh, yes, I remember. So I'm at a new angle as well. Usually I record from you, for you at th this angle shooting over here. But now I'm at this angle. So I don't know which is better. I kind of looking through the camera like it this way better. And I hope you do too. Of course, it doesn't help my arms look thin anymore. They're all the same. Having to reach up. <laughs> But just a quick look through of all the beautiful colors. Um, it is a bit of a darker painting, I will say. You can tell. Certainly when you flip through the colors, you could see how many dark colors there are. But the pops of the lighter colors do shine through. And again, it is really beautiful. Okay. So... Those were two, the two ones. Now, usually I tend to start with the smaller ones and end on the bigger ones because those are usually the better ones and the, you know, I don't know, the more impressive ones. However, this one is the one that I was super excited about. Now, anybody not from the U.S. or certain, and certainly if you're not from a certain, if you want to say belief side... You might not care, like, or know who this is, but it's okay. This is a personal hero of mine. And I nearly fell out my chair when I seen this. I was like, oh my god, I can't believe it. And I haven't seen anybody. I was shocked to see it because I hadn't seen it anywhere. I haven't seen anybody unbox it or do it. So if anybody else does, I'm sorry. I just haven't seen it. Uh, but I was so excited. And so here we have the notorious RBG, Ruth Bader Ginsburg herself, the legend, the icon, my personal hero. And again, so this is called Ginsburg on FG Normal site. It is a 40 by 30. It's around and it is 685. Again, for a ra for a thirty by forty, sorry about the glare. Look at the detail in this. This is stunning. The detail. Oh, for anybody who doesn't know, of course, this is the American flag in the back, and Ruth Bader Ginsburg was, I think, believe she died in uh, twenty twenty, and she was a Supreme Court justice here in the United States. Um, and she's a hero to, uh, civil rights. So, um, the, anyways, the rendering is stunning. You could see in her face the, the definition in the lines in her face over here, over here, the shading, the shading on her neck. I mean, up close, I'll show you up close, but it, it will look all you know, crazy looking, but from the little distance, this is her collar. It looks beautiful in camera. Again, just pulled away a little bit. It looks beautiful. Uh, close, it's a little bit, you know, wonky, but that's how it is all the time, most of the time. But just, it's stunning. The points on the stars, again, because of the new printing style. So up close, let's show her. I mean, how often do you see a face even the size that looks this good on a dime painting. I mean, it looks really great. Very good sticky, too. So, two of the three are really good sticky. Again, beautiful 
beautiful uh, design and rendering. Um, this one's in a tiny little bag. So of course we have lots of blues for the flag and for the stars. A lot of little little mounts in here. There's a lot of shadings in her, you know, for face. Some reds, blues, and browns, basically. Red, blues, browns, and whites. And a red, of course. Red and white. So, there you kind of have it with the diamonds. Again, they're all there, no, no worries. Um, but yeah, so these look really great. I, 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 again, I was so excited to see them. Uh, see this one and all of these designs are just really fantastic oops you should be on this side so here we have them the three diamond paintings from fgnormal.com um, I want to give you all a little tip too before I leave you um, so I've been meaning to tell you this, but you know, sometimes I forget and I get I'll still get a little nervous. So unless I write it down, I forget things. But before I started recording today, I was watching my lovely, wonderful friend Grace video. And she was, I'm showing a painting that she was a little disappointed with because even though it was larger, it was a, like a winterish scene. Um, but it was really still too, even though the painting was large, it was still too pixelated because it needed to be even bigger. So here's a tip for all of you. I don't know if I said it before. I don't think I have. I know I've told you when you go on these budget friendly websites, they li ha have a list of pictures. Listen, they could have up to 16 pictures sometimes. Flip through every one of them. Make sure because you never know where they might shove a rendering of the, the diamond painting. I always say it's so important if you find something you're interested in, interested in, try to find a rendering of what it looks like as a printed diamond painting. So, you know, again, with the letters and everything, so you know what it looks like. Uh, if you really love it and you can't find one, you know, I don't have, okay, I've done that too, take a chance, hopefully it turns out. But try to search for the rendering. Now, again, the first place to look is through all those pictures. Maybe they'll have it, maybe they won't. Now, the second thing you do is what I have found to copy the entire name of the diamond painting. So this one, let's say, would be called Ginsburg. 30 by 40 centimeter diamond painting round, you know, whatever. So just copy that and put it in the Googler and search. A lot of times, not always, but a lot of times, it'll pick, because these companies, again, they tend to handle the same merchandise, um, they'll still have the name the same. So you can find it at a certain store it, let's say it rhymes with eggy eyes, decipher that, um, and I'm only not saying it because I'm reviewing for somebody else, for FG Normal, so there, there, the eggy eyes will usually, for whatever reason, that website I have found that they have the rendered pictures more often, much more often than a lot of these other budget web friendly websites. So go to them, uh, see, flip through their pictures, see if they have one. I, again, I have found a lot of times they tend to have the picture. Now I'm not saying you buy it from them. I've never bought from them, so I don't know anything about their store or their shop. And again, a lot of these sites offer the same merchandise, just at different price points. So it's all up to you to decide where to buy. Uh, that's just a tip to find the uh, photo of what the rendering will be of the diamond painting. All right. 
so I just felt that was really important because again if we're spending money uh, we should get know what we're getting right so again thank you so much for f to fgnormal.com I'm so incredibly happy that you reached out to me to review some products from your site I really love all three of these you know again like I've said I even though I've seen these two before I knew they would be fantastic but I am over the moon with my Ruth Bader Ginsburg. You have made me so incredibly happy. I really, it's, let me tell you, it's unbelievable I haven't actually started working on this yet because I, I, I'm just in love with it. So thank you so much, FG Normal. Thank you so much to all my lovely viewers out there for coming back and supporting me. You don't know how much this means to me. And again, FG Normal, Thanks so much. I hope you enjoy the review. I hope you um, reach out to me again. I'll be reaching out to you to let you know that I put this up. All right. So thank you so much. Until next time, be safe, be happy. Stay, stay, stay happy. Bye, everybody. Love you all.